Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the chapter twelve. Chapter twelve is about equilibrium. And this one, we need to make sure to keep the object balanced, right? So for first problem, we can say we have three forces A, B, C, and then the A and the B are given. We need to find F C in magnitude and direction, and the F C's angle is given. So for this one, we can say. You can say this three object act on one object. If we want to make it, uh, balanced, that means the net force is zero, right? So we do the force analysis for it. First thing, we draw the F A as a vector, F B and F C. In this one, we can project F B in two component, F B sine sine theta, F B cosine theta. This one, right? The next one, we can say we have another vector, F C. We still project into component F C X and F C Y. Now we apply Newton's second law to make the object balanced to make sure the net force is zero. So first one at X component, the net force is balanced. So F A plus this one F B and then F C X. Right, it is zero. Now you can see because zero, we keep the angle as one o five. Degree. So this this one is a negative. If you check it, cosine one o five degree is negative. So there we keep the positive side there. In this one, we can get the F C X. Now we look at the Y component. We can see we have the F B sine one o five degree and then F C Y. This one, right? We add them together and then we keep this sign inside of this component. And then after you calculated, it, you find yes, F C X and F C Y are there. Both of them are negative side, so that means it put is if the F C X is there, F C Y is there. Now you can find the magnitude and angle theta for them. Thank you.